The one store that I have by the McDonald's runs 24 hours. Uh, the one by the overpass we run from 5 in the morning to 10 at night and on, on Fridays we run from uh, 5 in the morning till 11 and 6 till 11 on Saturday, 7 till 10 <laughs> on, <laughs> on Sunday. Sometimes some of the staff even forgets the times. <laughs> The basics are gas, diesel, propane. Um, our propane has become quite a service because St. Albert, the only place is Costco and uh, the Husky closed down. So we're getting a lot of people from St. Albert that are coming out. Uh, also Shell offers air miles, which a lot of people will cash their air miles for gas. And uh, they have uh, some programs that come in when you purchase stuff in store that you can get some points and, and also some deals. I got into some giftware several years ago, which has been a great hit, uh, camping supplies. Um, I've got into Dickie's clothing, which will sell about three to five coats a week. Uh, we've got some handy tools, we got tarp straps. Uh, we've kind of become a, a general store. We've got these diamond dots that a lot of people were buying with the COVID this winter. But when people come into the store, all of a sudden they found we had a different aspect than just chocolate bars. Uh, we recently picked up Husqvarna, uh, which also sells garden tractors and lawnmowers. Uh, we picked up Generac power plants for recreation. So we're diversifying and going into a different field because today things are changing, but when the customers come into the store, they, they kind of say, wow. With the no ethanol that Shell has and the premium fuel that have, the testing, the ingredients that they had, a lot of our regular customers have become accustomed to Shell and notice a difference. And they're, they're happy with clean pumps and stuff that works and and uh, we're getting a lot of a lot of good comments we've we've done a huge amount of, of charities uh, contributions to the to the major lines uh, the one thing we seem to concentrate a little more is youth um, so, sometimes you know some of the youth you get into some hockey or soccer or whatnot and, and these little people have a chance to go but some some of them too it's struggling with parents pay participation and stuff and so we we tend to promote more into that into that area and we had a great thing too even one of our staff just recently came in second in Canada as, as a sales associate so it, it's something to be proud of.